Okay. Beat him. I'm gonna show y'all bros where I'm from, man. I'm from that. Back to back, Big Boss K Po type boxing. So, I want to talk about Terrence Crawford's statement he made. He said Shakur Stevenson would never allow the stuff that Tank is doing to Frank Martin to happen to him. <laughs> Let's talk about it. So, Terrence Crawford tweeted that and basically was saying Shakur won't let that happen. I, I, don't, I don't understand why he's speaking for Shakur. I don't understand they clan, bro. I don't get it, right? And we just got to keep it a thousand. Like, Terrence Crawford is a hell of a fighter. But I don't understand why this grown man is speaking for another grown man. Like, bro, ain't no grown man finna speak for me, bro. I'm sorry. It's just not happening. And I damn sure ain't finna say it over on social media. I don't understand why this man speaking for Shakur Stevenson. Like, Shakur can't speak for himself or something. Man, he... Shakur wouldn't have let that happen to him. And then he trying to talk, basically talk Tank into fighting Shakur. You know what I'm saying? Because Kur been crying, you know, for big fights. You know, he been crying and complaining for big fights. So he's trying to basically bribe <laughs> Tank into Okay, Shakur. Oh, I ain't gonna do it to Shakur? All right, bet. Well, I'm gonna fight Shakur next. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to him. That's what he's trying to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's all anti. I'm telling you, that man from the Omaha, Nebraska is smart. All right? He, he intelligent. He know how to, like, play mind games with you. You know? He that type of dude that man, be like, man, I wouldn't let that happen to me if I was you. You know what I mean? He, that, he one of them. He one of them instigators. You know what I'm saying? Man, shit, man. I, if that was me, shit. Man, I'm telling you, bro. I would have folded that boy. Like, I, me? Man. That's Terrence Crawford. Right? Shakur, a grown man, bro. He can speak for himself. I don't understand why you tweeting, man. He wouldn't have did that to Shakur. <laughs> Stop playing, bro. Let that man speak for himself. But I think he's slick, man. That boy, wow, man, that man sitting there. I, when I saw it, I started laughing because I was like, bro, this man instigating, man. This ain't got nothing to do with no damn Shakur, man. This is a Frank and Tank fight. Why are you bringing up Shakur? Man, sh he wouldn't have did that to Shakur. Shakur wouldn't tolerate that. You know what I'm saying? He tried to get Tank to be like, all right, bet. I'm going to fight him next. I'm going to do the same thing to him. Right? Man, come on, man. We, 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 that's old school judo, man. Man, stop playing, bro. That man say this shit, man. That, he, he wouldn't be doing that to Shakur, man. Stop. Man, I'm going to tell you this. When Tank fights Shakur, Shakur going to get sleepy. That's all I got to say, bro. And, Sha and, I, and, and, and Shakur is a fighter I highly respect. I highly, I, man, that boy can fight. He got high boxing IQ. But even him gonna get sleepy. That's all I'm saying, bro. He gonna get tired, bro. That's what it is, G. He not finna sit here and, you know, I don't, I see ways he can be tight. Not gonna lie to you, I do. I see ways he can frustrate Tank in that ring. But I'm telling you, he gonna get sleepy. That's all it's gonna take is one. Tank got that on demand. That's what he got. You saw that last night. He got that on demand. When he need to cut it up, he cut it up and he get you out of there. You know what I'm saying? He got that killer instinct where he just like, the more you hit him, the more angry he get, the more, but it ain't like reckless anger, right? I'm not talking about the anger to where he fighting off emotion, no. I'm talking about that anger where it's like, he like, I gotta kill cut. You know what I mean? It's smart, you know what I'm saying? That boy trying to body bag and toe tag, that's what he trying to do. 
He ain't trying to do nothing cute. He ain't trying to do it to where the judges be like, hey, after 12 rounds of boxing. So, no, he ain't trying to do that. His mindset is, I'm trying to have you laying at the ceiling, laying down, face looking at the ceiling with your eyes closed, right? Where they probably got to carry you out the ring. That's what I want. That's what he doing. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, Core going to be sleepy when he fights. Like, I don't care what nobody. I, I heard a dude, I was watching a, a, a boxing channel uh, earlier today. And one of the callers who called in was like, yeah, you know, the biggest fight in boxing is him and Core. That's not the biggest fight in boxing. I'm sorry. It's just not. I don't see how that's a big fight. Now, that's a big fight to pure boxing heads. But that fight is not going to cross over, right, to where the casual fan be like, I'm going to buy this fight. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, Tank is a global superstar, right? We got to keep it a thousand. We have to be honest. He's a global superstar in the sport of boxing, right? We have to be honest, you know? So if anybody buys the fight, it's going to be because of Tank fighting, right? I just put him to the gym, y'all. But if anybody gonna buy the fight, it's because of Tank is about to fight, right? So, you know, people love to watch Javante Tank Davis fight. You know, I got people that don't even watch boxing, and they talk to me about Tank. You know what I mean? When he fight, that's when they watch boxing. They don't watch boxing no other time, but when he when he fighting, you feel me? So, like I said before, if anybody's you know, it's going to be because of Tank. It's not going to be because of Shakur, right? To me, the the biggest crossover fight is most likely going to be between Tank and Devin. And the only reason I say that is because they're going to sell the mess out that fight. The beef, the talking, they're going to sell the mess out that fight. It's going to be a fight to where, you know, it's going to be one of the ones where it's just like there's animosity. You know what I'm saying? They it's gonna be a lot of animosity. They gonna be beefing. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be wonderful. They gonna that's how they gonna sell that fight because of Bill Haney and all of them. That's how they gonna sell that fight, right? The talking, the antics, the all of that, right? So we gotta keep it funky. But Shakur, mm, like I said, the pure boxing heads, yeah. Pure boxing heads will love that fight because, you know, it's it's like skill versus skill. You got a, a skillful Javante Tang Davis, who's also a knockout artist. You got a skillful Shakur Stevenson, and the goal is to see who's gonna have, who's gonna make the better adjustments on said night. You get what I mean? That's just what it is. That's how the cookie crumbles. That's how the situation go get handled. You feel me? So that's how I analyze that particular fight. But other than that, Kua going to be sleepy. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, bro. I don't see, you know, I mean, like I said, I can see ways Kua can win. But him getting his hand raised, I don't know. Like, it'd be a situation where I think Kua be up on the cards and then Tank just get fed up and the boy get tired. You know what I'm saying? So it's just one of those situations, just one of those things where it's like, cool, man. He got to, his time coming. You know what I mean? His time coming where he going to get sleepy. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Boss gone.